it's me china and welcome back to my youtube channel so y'all today is may 26th currently in the bathroom getting ready so i was like let me pull out my phone and update you guys and start this vlog because y'all we got a lot of stuff on the agenda for this weekend it is memorial day weekend i'm excited um i took off today because yeah, I wanted to. <laughs> this morning, y'all, I got up. I went to the gym. Oh, and update on the gym status. I did go ahead and get the One Life membership. So, round of applause for me for finally stepping out and get my fitness journey started. So, yeah, I have a One Life membership now. So, I did get up this morning and I went to a class. It was like a dumbbell full body workout, y'all. My body is sore when they say full body they was not lying so yeah i went to a class this morning that was from 10 30 to i mean 9 30 to 10 30 and then i came back here showered and now i'm getting ready because me and my home girl we're going to go get our feet done and then we're going to this new little like korean barbecue place where it's like a stove in front of you and you cook on the stove and stuff so we're going to try that out they just opened a new one in our area so we're going to go try that out and then if y'all don't know the little mermaid comes out tonight i'm so excited so we're gonna go see that later tonight i think she got um tickets for eight o'clock so we're going to go see that so if you are an african-american please make sure you ain't even got to be african-american but this is like our it's not even the first time um a black girl is playing like a major disney role but it is important to our community so make sure y'all go support the movie and run them tickets up so we're gonna go see that tonight i'm so excited i love hi Haley. is that her name Haley? chloe and Haley. i love Haley, y'all she just gives off and she's an aries <laughs> i'm telling you if you don't know i'm an aries so <laughs> yeah she's an aries and she just gives off like so much fem feminine energy just so much like grace and just uh, she's definitely that girl so i can't wait to go support her and check out the new movie tonight and then i think that's it for today y'all do know we're having a cookout on monday so i have to get some more stuff for that um i'm probably gonna go to dollar tree and just get like little things like grilling utensils um i have to get like paper plates the little aluminum for you little thingies to put the food in so yeah i'm probably gonna go to the store and do that tomorrow i'm probably gonna go to the gym again um my home girl want to go to this water park but it may be raining tomorrow so we're gonna see about that if it's raining i'm not sure what we're gonna do tomorrow but sunday um we're going to a drag brunch y'all i've never been to a drag brunch before i've always wanted to go so i'm so excited so i'm gonna take y'all along for that um what else is sunday i'm also gonna prep so i'm gonna make um like the shish kebabs i'm gonna go ahead and put them on the sticks i'm going to be marinating our meat i'm going to probably make the doubled eggs and just keep them in the refrigerator overnight but i'm going to do all that sunday so you guys want to see how i prep for the cookout and then monday that's when the party start it's gonna be such a vibe yeah that's monday and then that's pretty much i'm gonna end the vlog on monday and that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to take you guys along for the ride. So y'all can see the vibes. Get into the vibes of my vlog. Please make sure you guys are liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Please. So yeah, y'all, right now I'm just waiting for my homegirl to come so we can go get our feet done every time i go get my feet done i always get jelly pedicure so if you don't know uh, if y'all if you're if the place you go to to get your feet done do not have jelly pedicure find another salon yeah the jelly pedicure plus the parking wax oh my gosh so i'm probably gonna do that i'm probably gonna get white per usual <laughs> And then I want to get my nails done, y'all. But the way um my clients and my hair business is set up, don't know about that. But I may go put some press-ons on. 
You know what I'm saying? So I'm probably going to do that. And yeah, so I guess I will see you guys at the nail salon. I'm still waiting on my home girl to get here. Y'all gonna have that one friend who be like, be there in five, and they really mean five zero, like 50 minutes. <laughs> That's her. But while we're waiting, we might as well start this day off with a little shot and shot. <sighs> Y'all, my famous Malibu. I don't know what it is, but I don't like strong liquor no more. I can't, I, I've never was a shot girl because it be burning my chest. But Malibu, I could take a shot of Malibu because it's smooth, you know? I don't feel like a man drinking it like, <coughs> no, this is nice and cute. Not too much, nice and smooth, I love it. So this is about to be my new favorite drink. And y'all, if you mix it with this Georgia peach, oh my gosh, it literally tastes like juice. It is so good. It kind of tastes like a Long Island, but like a peach Long Island. It's so delicious. So y'all know what we do. We take shots out of um, glasses because we're classy over here. And we're a little bougie and that's okay. So we're going to... This is a new bottle, y'all. So don't come for me. I know I've been drinking Malibu my past few vlogs. But this is a brand new bottle. I got this last night. Um, Yeah. So we're going to cheers to a great weekend. Cheers to good vibes. Cheers to, yeah, just a wonderful, great, eventful weekend with great energy and great vibes. Cheers to that and happy Memorial Day. Mm. Woo. tunes um i put his instagram up there so make sure y'all go follow his instagram and check him out he said he'd be on like 103 jams and stuff like that so he'd definitely be on the radios in the morning so y'all go check him out i'm so hungry y'all know i went to the gym this morning so i have not eaten anything so i'm starving but hopefully this doesn't take too long because we're supposed to be eating after this and i can't wait
Ooh. Is it hot? <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I'm back home. Um, I am so full, like, I'm stuffed. Ugh, I'm sitting on the floor in my living room because I'm about to put on some press on. So after we went to go eat, I did go stop by the hair store and I just picked these up. I wanted them nice and short because as y'all know, we're having to cook out. So I am cooking and stuff. So I didn't want anything too long. And with me doing hair, I wasn't about to get my nails done. So I was like, yeah, let me just go pick me up some press ons. So I'm about to sit here and put on my press ons, but I wanted to talk to y'all about where we went to go eat. So it's a place called K Pot. And as y'all seen, it's pretty much like a Korean restaurant. And um, you pick the food out and you cook it like in the middle of the table it's like a little um stove or whatever so this place monday through friday y'all it's only 19.99 all you can eat yeah i wanted to go and check it out so yeah monday through friday it's 19.99 for lunch now with the lunch only like certain meats was up there so like the beef was up there the garlic shrimp was up there they had um octopus up there they had calamari but if you wanted dinner it was an extra five dollars and the dinner included like salmon steak and different types of steaks different type of salmons they had like the jumbo shrimps the dinner just had more options which you can add it for five dollars so you'll pay like 25 dollars. but we just had the lunch because we didn't want too much um because we wasn't trying to like overdo it and it was our first time going so we just wanted to like check it out see how it was but next time i'm gonna definitely get the dinner because yeah, that food was so delicious. So when we got there, I told y'all in the nail salon, I was starving. So um, when we first got there, we sat down. They actually have like a sauce bar. So it's like a bar full of sauces. So you have, they had yum yum sauce, um, spicy mayo. They had hot barbecue. They had regular barbecue. They had a sweet thigh chili sauce. It was like a bar just full of sauces and then on the other part of the bar they had like little like snack foods that you can snack on i guess while the food is cooking because it did take a while for the food to cook i'm gonna get into that so when we first got there we went to the bar i had french fries and like little chicken tenders and stuff like that so i was eating that so um i was eating that before they brought out the food that we actually cook in the middle of the pot so she got there and she explained to us, you know, how it worked. You could either pick barbecue or the hot pot. So we just got barbecue. The hot pot, that is where you get into like your soups and your noodles and stuff like that. We just did the um, the barbecue. So that was mainly like the meats, the shrimp, your steak, your salmon and stuff like that. So we just got that. Um, so she asked us like which meats we wanted. She said you could get whatever you want. It's unlimited for $19.99. So we was like, yeah, so we're gonna start off with doom 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 doom. So I think the first round we got the spicy beef, we got the garlic shrimp, we got um the calamari steak. That was part of the lunch. We got um zucchini, broccoli, onions, garlic, pineapples. And I think that was it for the first round. So they brought the food out. The waitress, she um, she put the oven on. Or what is it? The oven, the stove, whatever. She heated up the table pretty much. So that took a while to heat up, y'all. I don't know if something was wrong with our table. But it took so long to heat up. So by the time they brought out the food for us to start cooking, 
we put the shrimp up there and nothing was happening. We're like, um, and mind you, this is our first time there. So we didn't know if it was supposed to take that long to start cooking or what. So we called our waitress over and we were like, you know, this is taking a little long. So she checked it. She was like, well, it's on its highest temperature. It's at 360 degrees. So I'm not really sure what's going on. So she called the manager over there and the manager was like, well, it's on, you know, you probably just got to give it some time. So we had to sit there and wait. So mind y'all, while we're waiting for the oven and stuff to cut on and to heat up, I'm throwing down with the french fries and the chicken tenders from the bar. Your girl was going in. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So by the time we had started cooking and stuff and the shit started sizzling, I was damn near full. <laughs> I was like, dang, I should have waited. So I was pretty much almost full by the time we started cooking. So we started cooking and... I will say I probably will go back just to try the dinner, but I don't know if I will keep going back there because that's a lot of work. You actually have to sit there and cook. And it may sound fun and all, but once you actually get in there, you got to keep flipping that shit and checking it. It, it's it's a lot me and my friend was like um yeah we just want to go to a restaurant and have them cook and bring it to us <laughs> like they literally bring you raw meat raw vegetables and you sit there and you cook it but like i said it's a cool experience but um will i go back yes to try the dinner and maybe the um hot pot and get like the soup and the noodles and stuff but after that i don't see myself like going back on a regular basis it was really 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 good so if y'all have one in your area y'all should definitely check it out the vibe was good we didn't get anything to drink um we didn't order any drinks the drinks looked really good though i seen a couple of people like who were sitting beside us who got the drinks and they looked so good but honestly y'all the way my stomach was set up by the time i got there i won't even thinking about drinking i was just ready to throw down so right now I'm about to put these press-ons on. And then um, it's like, what time is it? It's 5.41. Um, the movie starts at 8 p.m. I told y'all earlier, we're gonna go see The Little Mermaid. So I have about two hours to just chill, probably watch some TV, and just relax, honestly. So let me finish putting on these nails and then I'm gonna show you guys how they look when I'm done. So I just finished up. This is how they're looking. Real natural, real cute. Um, one thing about um press-ons, if you're gonna wear them, y'all, I'm so funny. <laughs> you know how you get your nails done and you're just like, hmm. What you excuse me, huh? <laughs> no, if you wear press-ons, y'all need to keep this glue on you at all times because these jumps definitely will pop off and you don't want to be embarrassed so keep the glue on you keep some extra nails on you and don't wear them longer than two days <laughs> but no i love getting pressed on y'all because y'all know i do hair so it's like so easy for me to just pop them on and yeah they're nice and short but these are so cute and simple and it matches my toes perfectly hold on let me see so we're looking super cute super cute super cute ah! so now i'm about to sit here um i'm about to watch power and chill for the next few hours until it's time to get ready for the movies so i love you tired Oh, I may take a nap. I don't know yet, but I will see you guys in two, 10 seconds. Hey y'all, I'm dressed and ready to go. I did change my outfit because when I go to the movies, I like to be comfortable. Just have on this white um, sweatsuit. I like to be real comfortable while I'm watching a movie. I put my hair up. So yeah, this is the final look. Yeah, feeling comfortable, about to go watch The Mermaid and I'm so excited, can't wait. But I am running late, so I do have to like hurry up and go. I got like 15 minutes until the movie start. <laughs> but it's literally right up the street from me. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the movie theater.
Good morning, y'all. It is the next morning. Hold on, let me grab my iPad. Y'all already know where we at in it. We're in the kitchen. So, y'all, it is May 27th. It is 11.16 in the morning. I was supposed to get up today and go to a Zumba class at my gym. But, y'all, yesterday in the gym done tired me out I just had to sleep in today um as y'all seen we went to go see the little mermaid last night but it was really good holly was beautiful per usual i already knew she was gonna give and give the girls what needed to be gave so she was beautiful of course then afterwards i was on my way home and then my home girl called me and was like let's go get pizza so we went to go get pizza and y'all seen that slice y'all one slice my slice fit in here this is a whole large box they had to put it on two they literally had to put it on two paper plates like that y'all it was so good though it was so delicious it's called Benny's. y'all check them out i literally only ate half i'm holding this because i gotta go take it outside to the dumpster but um i only ate half while i was there and then the other half i just brought here and then i finished it later last night but y'all 10 out of 10 so good but yeah so it's the next day it's saturday um me and my home girl about to go to the hot tub at her gym because she went with me to the class yesterday too so she woke up her body was hurting so we was like yeah we need to get in some water so we're gonna go to the hot tub so right now i'm about to shower and put my bathing suit on so we could go do that and that's pretty much it for today today is not gonna be a super busy day Yesterday was a busy day for me. So today I think I'm gonna just chill. Yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along with me for the vibes, of course. Look at my nails, y'all. They are so cute. Press on, get into it. And I'm so happy that I put these on because literally somebody booked for small knotless braids. So I'm like, imagine if I would've got my nails done. Cause I can do locks with nails, but braiding, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother ball game. So I'm so happy I just went with the press ones because I would have been mad if I got nails done and then she booked for knotless box braids within, I think she booked for next week, small knotless box braids. So I could just pop these babies off so I can grip and do some bomb braids. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it for right now. I'm about to shower, get myself together because I didn't wash my face. I didn't do anything. I just came up here, didn't brush my teeth. Yeah, I ain't do none of that. But, um... Mm, yeah, I'm about to shower, put my bathing suit on, and I will see you guys in a few. Hey, y'all. So now I'm like literally matching with my bathroom. <laughs> but I went ahead and I put this dress on it. This is my bag that I packed. So I'm going to just throw this in here. Dang, this y'all heavy. Okay. So boom, bag is packed. I just threw on this yellow dress. I have the bathing suit on up under this. I just threw my hair up. I'm gonna take pictures. Ooh. So cute. Y'all already know. Locks done by me. Make sure y'all follow on my Instagram page. Please. So yeah, that's the final look. My homegirl um, is on the way. So I need to like pack my waters and stuff because I need water and all that so i'm gonna continue to do that and i will see you guys at the pool Because I'm running late per usual, 
But um, I didn't really finish vlogging last night just because, okay, so I haven't been to the pool in a really long time. So I forgot how tired you get after the pool. So literally yesterday after the pool, I went to the dollar store. I got a few more things for the cookout. I got some food, I came home and I was knocked out for the rest of the day. So <laughs> yeah, that was pretty much it. So it wasn't really anything to vlog, but I am back today. I'm feeling good. I got my beauty rest in. So I'm on the way to the drag brunch that I was telling you guys about. This is like the third outfit I done changed into because it's raining. So I didn't know what I wanted to wear. But um, yeah, I'm about to go to the drag brunch. I have to go pick up my home girl. I was supposed to be there around 12.40, but it's like 12.35 right now. So I'm running a little late, but it's okay. I just threw on this cute orange sweater dress. And I have on some black sandals. And I'm just wearing this purse that I've been wearing all weekend. Um, yeah, I woke up this morning. I started cleaning and stuff. So by the time I looked at the time, I'm like, oh, shoot, I need to get ready. So I didn't know what I wanted to wear. I was just trying on a whole bunch of different stuff, but we finally just came to this simple dress, which I should have put on in the first place. But yeah, I'm about to go to the drag brunch, you guys. I haven't been wearing makeup all weekend, just skin, lashes, and brows, and of course the edges, and I've been loving it. So yeah, we're about to head out. And I'm about to go pick my homegirl up. And I will see you guys at the drag brunch. Bye. Y'all, it's literally raining. And I literally have sandals on. Oh. Gee. They said that they're the number one show in the Hampton Rose. When they said that, we both was like, all righty. I don't know about the best. It was okay, though. But the food was definitely bomb. So right now, y'all, we about to prep for the <laughs> So she's making... Boozy fruit. Boozy fruit. So she has... The fruit right here that's been sitting overnight. Yep, it's frozen. Yep. We got our Moscato. Mm -hmm. We got our hypnotic. Mm -hmm. You know, taking it back to the early 2000s. And a little bit of wine. And she's making it in this little container. And right now, I'm about to clean all of this chicken. I have my vinegar right here. I'm about to clean this chicken. And then we're going to go ahead and marinate it and the we have jerk barbecue sauce and we have regular mal jerk seasoning so we're going to marinate that in there and then we're going to make shish kebabs so we're going to cut up the peppers the onions and the chicken we're going to put them on a stick and then we're just going to put them in these aluminum foil pans and we're just going to let it sit overnight okay y'all we got 10 pounds of chicken and this one and then this one. This is 10 pounds combined. So we're gonna put um jerk in one and then we're gonna do the that's that's jerk the barbecue. barbecue jerk in the other one. Just gonna pull it on in here. Let it marinate. 
Sure. The regular grips. Yeah. All right. Cool. 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 You gotta scoot over that way, Fran, so they can see what we're doing. Okay. Yeah. You said we look like what? I you said we look like Tweedledee and Tweedledum trying to open this damn thing. Ooh, it smells good. Ooh, what? Jeez! That's decent. That's decent. I kind of want to chop some onions up and throw it in and there. And throw it in there? Oh, so when they throw it on the grill? It could be. Oh, oh my, my God. goodness! <laughs> Bro, we be here. We be here. We Every be time. here. Every time. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Yeah, waste. Hey, yeah. This is decent, bro. Oh yeah, that's show, 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 show them that <laughs> shit there. That's pure jerk chicken. We're gonna throw some onions and some peppers in there, y'all. It's about to be lit. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, see Jesus. the color on it though. They see that color. That color. They see that. I'm chicken very melanated right now. Ooh, oh my Jesus! Let me chop up this. Give it dark like Doucet, baby. <laughs> dark like Doucet. Okay, y'all, so we have regular chicken tenderloins for the shish kebabs. I feel like I should have got chicken breast so it could be like a thick piece of meat up there. I feel like that's thick, though. You feel like this is good? That's yeah. what Bob said, too. So I'm just going to clean it with my vinegar. I don't have lemon, y'all, so don't judge me, but vinegar will do. It's all acidic. Make sure y'all cleaning y'all meat. So we're going to um, season this meat. So we're going to use some... Creole. We're gonna use kicking chicken. We're gonna use what's that? All purpose, purpose cookout. And I think that's it. I don't think we can use like garlic powder and stuff for this. Because it this Cause literally this. says garlicky buttery seasoning. That. All right. That's how we looking, y'all. I'm sorry I don't have a good angle for y'all to exactly what I'm doing but it's all good and good we're gonna do the peppers the onions and chicken okay. on the steak so, so we're gonna cut up this stuff and I'll be back because I need to just do something new. okay y'all so we're Situations will arise in our lives, but you gotta be smart about it. Celebrations with the guys I sacrifice, cause I knew you could not sleep without it. Meanwhile, I, I, I 
I did not get a lot of footage from the cookout because if y'all ever hosted something, I'm the hostess with the mostest, okay? I like to make sure the vibes are good. I like to make sure everybody is eating, everybody's drinking, taking shots, you know? So it was just a lot yesterday to try to host and record and make sure I get footage. It was just too much. We was really living in the moment. But y'all, I have on clothes, y'all. I have a romper on. It's just kind of cold, so I got my robe up here. But we had so much food and a lot of people that I thought was going to come, some people didn't show up, which is perfectly fine. But y'all, we just had a lot of food. So I was literally texting my clients like, y'all want to come over here and get some food? So some of my clients came over, got some food. Um, it was just a good time. Me and my homegirls, we all was like playing games. We was getting super lit. Uh, we was playing like charades and taboo. It was a great time. Um, my boyfriend, his homeboys was out here. They was watching the game. Um, the game had came on later that night. So they was in here watching the game. My other homeboy, shout out to Tay, was on the grill the entire night. Y'all, okay? My boy threw down. Okay? Grilling master. The food was delicious try to go to the abc store because we had we only had one bottle of the malibu that you guys seen so once that was finished we was like we still trying to go trying to drink so we went to the abc store but well, my homegirls went to the abc store but it was closed i guess they closed early because it was memorial day so we just had to just drink what we had but overall it was a great weekend i really 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 enjoyed myself i hope you guys enjoyed this long vlog this is probably the longest vlog I've uploaded. If you guys enjoyed this vlog, thank you for coming along with me. If you made it to the end of the video, what's up? I know it's kind of long, I'm sorry. But thank you guys for vibing with me this weekend. And I will see you guys in the next vloggy vlog. Bye. Baby, you can't stop it